Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jacob and welcome back to some more Fable 3. Being chased by the police, I can only imagine it was past Jacob that had everything to do with this. If you missed any of the previous episodes and you're curious why I'm in this dilemma in an alleyway surrounded by police officers, then uh, go check out the previous episodes down below in the description. I'll leave a playlist down there. Alright, you guys gonna take me away or what? Thanks for letting me finish my intro and all, but like, hey, I can just <laughs> walk right past. Interesting. And I'm making my escape. Hey, Walter. Just got back from robbing a liquor store. Yeah, yeah, let's continue on with the mission. There's nothing going on or anything. Hey, Debbie, are you a woman of the night? Come with me. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. <laughs> going to the sewers. Leave me be. I'm part rat. All right, I lost the police in the sewers. Thanks, Walter. Nope, now we're being held at gunpoint by the Thieves Guild, I think. Hey, put your weapons down. I thought I gave the orders around here, kid. Sorry, Paige. Gotta be carried away. The guy looks like a uh, what's his name from uh, Home Alone. Buzz, that's who it is. Kevin's older brother, who's an absolute dick. Looks like you have work to do too. You have a whole city to inspire. No, I'd rather let the whole city fear me, but I guess I'll be making a decision soon enough. A good parenting pack. Yes, I can. I can have kids now. Hooligan expression pack. Hell yes. I'm gonna be able to. Fart on people, this sounds awesome. Actually, now that I got a bit more money, I should probably fix up some of my uh, businesses here, my uh, apartments, and then get to, get to working on a family here. Hey kid, where's your mom? She's single? All right, let's have a dance with the chicken, man. <laughs> She's like inside of my gut. I'm just teasing and making fun of this little child for no reason. The other kids joined me. They're laughing at him too. Do that another 99 more times. Okay, fart in this random woman. Come here. <laughs> Uh, so I don't even know how to pronounce your name. Culturally There's incorrect or anything, so I'm just gonna call you Tsunami. You're a bad person. Hey, fuck you, kid. Actually, she has every right to call me an asshole. I may have killed her father in the last episode. Actually, you know what? No. You don't get to say I'm your new king. I promise to keep you guys protected. <laughs> All right, now I gotta do some fetch quests for my new friend here. What the hell just happened? Me when I eat that Travis Scott burger I've been saving for the last three years. I think this book is full of like crack or something because my drug dog sniffed it out pretty good. You're smashing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be smashing real oh, soon nice here. Bit. I got my first date here with Tsunami. Oh, I can show you a few dead bodies. I don't really know what the hell we could do. Here, come on. <laughs> we're just in a full on sprint. Oh, I remember this place. Yeah, see, this place is very, very special to me. I once tossed a woman off the cliff right about there, actually. It was pretty cool. Hello, miss. I'm here to uh, deliver a package from your friend Sarah. There we go. Now she's off the cliff and dead. Oh, proposed marriage. Okay, it's that easy. I thought I would have had to do another quest or something. Oh, I need a ring? Oh, crap. How do I get a ring? You're going to be able to walk yourself home by yourself, Tsunami, and the middle of this blizzard <laughs> in the middle of the night great cool thanks oh yes i found a wedding ring and it's only two hundred dollars nice tsunami where are you tsunami hopefully she didn't actually jump off the cliff now what the hell yeah she's been standing on the edge of the mountain <laughs> this whole time all right it doesn't matter thank you for the gifts i don't know what you got together here probably some of your own fecal matter yay we're so happy together oh actually i can oh, i could literally purchase the caravan of love from layla here yeah move the hell out wedding ceremony wait i gotta i gotta pay for a wedding it's 2500 bucks i don't have i was not paying attention but you know what i got enough property it'll pay for itself <laughs> it's just getting married in a chicken costume <laughs> Yep, come here, we got children to make. Hold my hand, dumbass. What are you doing staring at the wall? Come here. Oh, it's this place with the heart on it. Okay, this was definitely not where it showed on the map, but all right. Don't even know how to pronounce your first name, but let's have a kid. Hey, kid, get the hell out of here. Can you give us a little bit of privacy? All right, let's just uh, do some more unprotected woohooing. You pregnant yet? Where the hell did she go? And why does it cost $25 to sleep with my wife in my own bed? <laughs> Unless she's charging me, I wouldn't know why, but it's kind of weird. Why are all these kids? Kids crowding around me. I think they want me to kill more people again, which I could do. All right, kids. You want to see a show, huh? You want to see a show? All right, here we go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. I uh, went kind of sickle mode there. You like that, kids, huh? Yeah, that's right. Run along now, okay? Show's over. Dicks. Who the hell's shooting me? Who are you? Bitch, I own you. What's up, babe? She's not super happy with me right now, but I could just kiss her. Oh, she just called me a murderer. She's terrified of me. Someone needed to spice up the relationship, and it wasn't going to be her, apparently. And here's some money. 
I gave her ten dollars, even though I pay her twenty-five. Did you just kick my dog? Excuse me, bitch! You don't dare kick my dog. Oh, why? Why? What? She kicked my dog. She deserved it. Wife, back me up here. You saw it, right? <laughs> just quick scope that guy. I've unlocked freak. Uh, okay. If I wasn't already a freak, where walking around in this costume. All right. Luckily, I didn't kill any of my tenants. I don't know how because I feel like I've gone through roughly the entire town by now but it's whatever all right let's see if i can't do any odd jobs here in the swamp nice place to grow some kids you, children nice and strong oh you see some treasure well i see it too jackass right. oh boy so Which one of the quests i have to do to earn the people's respect so is i now have to dig up a grave for these two ghosts i don't know how that's gonna reflect on my character but i like where this is going all right i think i've made it okay here's some graves uh is this you yep you just go ahead dog start digging it up perfect thank you hope this is the right grave not gonna read the tomb or anything oh yep god is very mad he's sending after his demons Going to hell now. I mean, this is a bad idea. This is a scam from the start. Stay away from me. I'm about to go sicko mode. Take that. Committed a lot of war crimes since I got here. I'm definitely disrespecting the dead, and I've also been grave robbing. I killed at will since I've gotten here. Yeah, <laughs> look. I got him stun locked in his little stupid outhouse graveyard site. I don't know what the hell this is. There we go. I lit him on fire. All right, here's your book, dicks. Uh, I think I've been invited to a ghost party. <laughs> I, I, I have no explanation for this, except for I think they're doing some black magic necromancy type shit. Possibly not one of your better judgment calls. No, I think it was a great judgment call. Grave robbing is what I'll be known for now. Jesus Christ, I walked into this factory and there's just a little girl working here. <laughs> Her name is Anne the Child Laborer. <laughs> I'm gonna point and laugh at you. Ha ha. Ha ha. You're a sweatshop worker. Ha ha. Alright, I'm gonna work for this uh, sweatshop owner and help him with the little bit of hallucination he's having and hearing some sort of voice. Alright, let's see if he's got any more kids in his basement here. I think that's just like someone on a PA system. Is that the voice he's talking about? Oh, yep. There's a cult of like cannibals or something living down here and they want to kill me awesome are those the teenage mutant ninja turtle guys well like in skeleton form i shall rain hellfire upon you little weird frog looking things how dare you haunt the sweatshop you live under <laughs> this child laborer guy definitely has some skeletons in his closet if you know what i mean i think god is very angry with him too maybe that's why he's Cut me a lot of slack so far. Jesus, how many freaking frogs do you guys own? That's it, I'm running through this. I'll find whoever's spawning you little hell spawns out of thin air and I'll kill them. What? There's an entire town down here. Holy crap. I don't know if I should trust these folk. I should probably just go on and start slaughtering all of them. Oh, I never finished the conversation with the old fart. God damn it. It's wandering around for like 10 minutes, <laughs> and I never finished the dialogue. Jesus Christ. And oh, yep, yeah, look at that. The elevator no longer needs a key. Just wide open for us now. Cool. Yeah, take that, dog. Time to put you down, old yeller. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Who are these little frogmen? Uh, all right, you know what? That's it. I'm taking anabolic steroids. <laughs> Jesus, I am just slaughtering through these stupid little skeletons. Come on, they're not going to put up a fight. Just let me in, you weirdo. You're harassing the local sweatshop, and I will not be having that. Ow, ow. Oh, God, I don't think anabolic steroids is going to get me out this time. Freaking robot can teleport. I'm about to die. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not looking good. I'm just spamming roll. All right, so it's just me and you now, robot. There we go. I just lit him on fire. Take that. All right. Finally, can I confront this weirdo harassing my favorite sweatshop? What the hell? It was a, a voice from beyond the grave this whole time. So he's now made me king of the town, just like that? Town devoted to work. Now you're thinking, Mr. Boyle. I think I'll have the choice to give all these people to the sweatshop owner here, or let them free. I think I'll definitely enslave the town. There we go. I love that idea. Thank you very much. You discovered a lost community below Bower Stone and have ensured its continued enslavement. But all that really matters is that you stand and make a ton of gold, right? Hell yeah. Oh, this is the entire town. So I got another seven properties to my name at roughly 150 gold per house. All right, so I've repaired and made the highest rent possible on each and every one of these homes. Earning me roughly three to three, 350 to 380 per house. It's holy crap. So yes, I will be making a ton of money for my uh, little ens <laughs> enslaved town down there. All right, kids, you get to work. <laughs> I'm your new king. What's up, Tom? 
Jesus, just like that, I made 3,000 gold. And I think that's where we're gonna end it. We're gonna end it off a great, great note there. After, of course, enslaving the entire town. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave it a like and a comment with your feedback down below is also very much appreciated. If you are new, consider subscribing. And in the meantime, check out some more of my videos here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.